and welcome to another edition of Connecting the Dots, where we have thought leaders, game changers and innovators of the media and telco industry share their tips, insights and learnings. Today my guest is Dominic Ferral, he is Chief Marketing and Sales Officer of Whiteplay. Welcome Dominic, hello! Hello Andy, it's a pleasure to be in touch. Great to be here with you uh, today. Tell our guests a little bit about Whiteplay and yourself please. Okay, so Whiteplay is a technology company. We provide professional services and video solutions to tier one operators, including Canal Plus, Vivendi, uh, Sky Brazil, DirecTV, Telefonica, to just drop some names. In fact, we have about um, 15 million households uh, with Whiteplay in their living room, but they don't know it. Okay. <laughs> And I'm Dominic Ferral, and I'm Chief Sales and Marketing Officer of Whiteplay and co-founder of the company. Okay, so many people might know Whiteplay from your times where you initiated Frog, so that was yeah. your own middleware, but in the meantime you do, I think, a bit more than that, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we created Frog at a time where there was no open solution. So it was in 13 and just after Comcast arrived on the market with RDK and uh, Google with Android TV, which are clearly uh, open solution. And now I would like to say that we are completely uh, agnostic and we deliver a professional services and video solution, whatever the ecosystem, even on some uh, proprietary solutions for some TV operators. Yeah. Okay. So that's Android, RDK, and potentially also proprietary Linux solutions. So is there a clear trend where the industry is heading? What do you see? Yeah, in fact, you have to take into account some key, uh, key factors. The first one is the fact that it's open and the TV operator are not locked. The second point is that the feature velocity, the capability of introducing on the market new solutions. And the third one, which is certainly the more important, is the capability to integrate the, the streaming video uh, companies such as Netflix, Disney, YouTube, and so on. And both, I would say, Android TV and RDK are answering to this. Both have an application store, the Play Store on Android side, the Metrological Store on the RDK side. Uh, I would say that the main differences are quite simple. On Android TV, the pro is that it's a bit uh, prefetched, pre-integrated. Uh, so it may ease uh, the creation of a new solution. There are some cons because you have some uh, guidelines, constraints in terms of defining the UI, the remote control. At the opposite on RDK, the pro is that there is no guidelines. So you can do what you want. You manage the data as you want. The cons is that because it's a toolbox, uh, sometimes there is a bit more of work to be done. But at the end, when you look at the a big project for a tier one with significant requirements, the yeah. timeline is quite the same. It's between nine and 12 months. Okay, so for both nine and 12, is there a way to shorten that somehow? Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. The, the, the way to uh, reduce the, the schedule is to take uh, an off-the-shelf solution. So this is what we, we have done. Uh, we have designed uh, what we call the premium solution. So it's a cross-device solution running on set-top box, smartphone, tablet, computers, pre-integrated with the services platform. And with this solution, which is really easy to customize, we can deliver the solution in less than four months. Okay. So super aggregation is the, the big buzzword, of course, and that might work on any of those solutions. Um, integrate anything you want, the SVOD players, live, catch up, maybe even gaming. So what are the questions an operator needs to ask themselves when they want to go down this route. Yeah, you're right. Super aggregator is really the, the, the buzzword. And, uh, and they were super aggregator in the past when they were aggregating all this TV channel. The, the new, I would say, the, 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 the news is the arrival of these GAFAs, the, the Netflix, uh, Disney, YouTube, and so on, uh, which are competitors of the TV operator. And uh, they made the right choice integrating uh, their uh, solution inside uh, their offerings. Uh, and this is the key point. The key point is how to integrate and the complexity to integrate this solution. Because even on the paper, it's really easy. When it comes to reality, when you look at the diversity uh, of the various ecosystem, when you look at the legacy of uh, devices deployed on the market, the age of the chipset, the size of the memory, the security which is involved, 
all the certification process that you have to pass at the end it requires really vertical tv competencies and this is what we provide to the tv operator so they need a, a system integrator with this capability to to integrate those solutions okay so it's easy to integrate it on a new box with a brand new chipset uh, but legacy is it's the challenge easier. once it's easy it's easier <laughs> okay. okay good um so legacy is a big channel challenge um is it just the front end or aren't there big challenges also on the back end and how do you solve those yeah in fact we um when we are addressing the tier one operator there is no green field so it means that uh, each time that we deal with a tv operator they have a back end yeah. so yeah. we could have requests to provide a, a new uh, UI integrated with this backend, or they want to change the backend and provide a new one. So we have a lot of integration to be done with the services platform. And on top of this, we can provide some uh, additional complementary uh, backend component that we have developed. So we are not a services uh, platform provider, but we identify some sweet spot where we can bring value to this TV operator. So just to give you some example, uh, we have designed the apps manager for the Android TV deployments. Um, we have designed the UI, uh, the UX manager. Uh, it will um, allow to manage in real time the editorial, the advertising. Okay. And we have the analytics uh, backend manager to gather all the information coming from the devices to provide insight to the TV operator. So just to give you some example of backend component that we provide to the TV operators. Okay. How about voice? Is that also, um, I mean, the UI is changing. Uh, many people, Vodafone, Deutsche Telekom, all of the big ones have a voice solution. Uh, some go with Google, some go with Amazon, some choose a proprietary Nuance. solution. Uh, Nuance, for example, right? Um, how about that? Is that also a challenge? Well, I won't say it's a challenge. Uh, you need to, to master the competencies. Uh, you can see the integration of voices in mainly uh, two ways. Uh, having the voice integrated directly uh, inside the device or taking benefit of all the, I would say, uh, Echo Dot uh, uh, devices or, or Google Home devices. And uh, even with legacy set of box which, um, which have been deployed, where there is no voice inside, there is no remote control with voice, um, we develop uh, an abstraction backend where uh, an Amazon device or Google device can enable to manage uh, an existing set of box on the field. Good. So a lot of things that you're doing. Uh, now you know the famous question. Uh, I, if I were to give you $100 million, what would you do with it? You know, for me, the, the key point and the key issue is still the, the, the user experience. We still need to improve the way we... Uh, we consume media, it's still too complex to, uh, to discover and, and, and to, to choose the, the right content. So for me, it's to be as close as possible to the real life, to talking to uh, someone in front of you, uh, sharing um, your moods and what you want to see. So it's a mix of voice, it's a mix of uh, improvement of uh, touch devices, it's, uh, an improvement on, uh, on machine learning. Why it's not possible to say, hey, I would like to see uh, this movie with the red balloon on the cover. So to make things really easier. Yeah. For, for me, this is really the, the next big thing. Okay, so it's a bit like the, the Apple story, right? Make it easy, intuitive. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I hide all the complexity. And there is a lot of complexity. That you manage. Okay. Yeah. Dominic, this was a great talk. We get some insight on Android, Linux, RDK, how to integrate Asphalt players. Thank you very much for being with us today and sharing your insights. Uh, good luck and uh, see you soon. Thanks, Dominic. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye, Andy.